Hey everybody, my name is Commander Eagle131 and I would like to show you how I built my take on the Liberty Cruiser ship from the old Freelancer game in Starfield. Now, this is the first time I've made a video like this so let me know uh, how it goes. Uh, I tend to ramble a lot so there's probably going to be a lot of quick cuts so I apologize about that in advance. Um, so let's uh, get into it. So here's a picture of the original. Um, as you can see, I, I wasn't able to get the ship exactly, but I wanted to get kind of an approximate shape. It's a really neat design, and it's been one of my favorites in science fiction video games to date. So I built it in Starfield, and I'm going to kind of show you how I did it. So a quick disclaimer, I'm going to assume that you already know how to use the ship builder, or you're at least comfortable with it. This won't be a, a tutorial on how to use the builder. This is going to be a tutorial on how to build this ship. Um, second disclaimer, um, this is a class B ship so you're going to need at least rank 3 piloting to, to fly it and um, for optimum efficiency um, I have the max level B class reactor in there. I think it gives about 38 or 39 power, not sure, um, but you need to be level 60 to use that reactor. Um, if you're not quite that high end level yet, it doesn't matter. You can still use any old B class reactor, but just know you might have to play around with your pit management a little bit or, or decrease some of the weapons. You know, you'll need to fine tune it. So the bulk of this ship is going to be built here at an outpost. So use one of your uh, landing pads with the ship builder. Um, the, there's only two modules that, you're need to, that you'll need to get abroad. Uh, that's going to be your Stroud Eklund Contiki Bridge. And uh, back here we've got a Slayton 5660 engine back here, that flat piece. Um, the Slayton engine can be bought anywhere in uh, Freestar Collective Space, and the Contiki Bridge can be purchased in the Narion system at the uh, Stroud Eklund Star Yard. So let's go into the ship builder. Okay, so here we are in the ship builder. You can see I have everything kind of exploded, and I've got everything kind of grouped into relatively organized groups. We got our HABs over here, um, our kind of main modules over here that make the ship go. Um, this is a big old pile of stuff. Um, it's a, I, I call these all structural. Some of it's not actually classified as structural, but all these pieces make up for the over, overall shape of the ship. So I've got them over here in this pile. And then over here, um, this is the front of the ship those two prongs that, that comprise that iconic look that the uh, Liberty Cruiser has. It's a uh, forward cannon, if you will, I guess. So to start with the building, we'll, we'll begin with the HABs. So to start, we'll begin with this, the landing bay. I use the Nova Galactic one because I like the way it looks. Um, the shape of the landing bay kind of contributes to its overall shape on the tail end of the ship, so I chose that one. On top we've got a Deimos 1x1, one one. and you'll notice this is going to be the only Deimos hab, the rest of them are going to be Nova Galactic. We've got the all-in-one berth A, which is my favorite berth of all time. I don't know why, it just I think it's really cool on the interior. It also has a really neat little um, research station. It's built into the wall as a little panel. Um, it might go overlooked as scenery, but it is actually a functioning research station. So keep that in mind when you use this berth A next time. Next, we're going to put the workshop next to it. Let's get that away. And then next to the workshop goes a one by one companion way. Um, so there's going to be a stack of three companionways that's going to form the central ladder well that gets us to each deck of the ship. Um, so I stick with companionways from Nova Galactic these days. I used to do the storage room because I thought it looked cooler, but it's got this shelf uh, where if you bump it in the right way, the physics will freak out and these plastic buckets fall onto the floor. And so, you know, I generally have a whole stack of these things to access different floors of my ship. So over time, there's just this massive pile of plastic buckets on the bottom deck of the ship, and it's just kind of annoying to see that. So, um, <laughs> companion way it is for me. If plastic buckets are your thing, stick with the uh, storerooms. <laughs> 
So let's go ahead and connect that one, that one by one there. Nothing goes here. That's empty space because that's where the uh, reactor and the grab drive are going to go. And over here on top of the hab, it, uh, on top of the uh, berth A is going to go a living quarters. Next floor, we're going to stick this one by one on top here. And then the Nova Galactic control station goes here. Like that. Okay. And then the Contiki bridge goes here. Now that's going to create another ladder right there. That was a compromise I made because of exterior look. Um, you can put the bridge there if you want, but in the uh, original Freelancer ship, the bridge was sitting further back. So I opted to deal with it and have an extra ladder here. So, and then lastly, this armory goes on the bottom. And our docker. We're going to be using this slim docker, and it's going to go right there. So if all this stuff, if the ladder placement is going to play nice with us today, um, you're going to have one central well here of ladders that accesses every floor of the ship, including the docker. Uh, this is probably the third or fourth of these of this ship that I've actually made. I've made these in several playthroughs already. Um, I designed it so that you can just come in through the landing bay and walk in a straight line through here to the to the uh, stairwell. But it doesn't always want to do that with this armory. Sometimes it puts a ladder here and then makes you go do this ladder maze to get to the ladder well, the stairwell, whatever you want to call it. Um, so hopefully it won't do that this time, but we'll see. Ladder placement and how to manipulate it is still a little bit of a mystery to me. I've read some articles, um, and uh, I just sometimes I just don't understand it. I'm not entirely sure if anyone really does. So anyway, enough about ladders. Hopefully this works out. We'll we'll test it when we're done building. Okay, next this is going to be pretty straightforward. We'll, we're going to stick our main modules in here. So starting with the grab drive, we got this deep core. 13G grav drive. And here's our class B reactor. Both of those get put into this empty slot here. Next, um, sitting on this shelf right here in the back, uh, goes the Slayton 5660 engine. And then on the sides of this one by one go these um, White Dwarf 2030 engines. I opted for the 2030s because of their shape, it, it lends to the overall look of the completed product, the uh, shape of the ship. The original ship has these little flarings in the back that kind of make me think of a bird's tail. I couldn't really find anything quite like that. Um, so I opted just to put these engines here. I think it does the trick. Um, so let's move on to the forward cannon assembly forward cannons got these two prongs above and below uh, and that kind of lends to the iconic look of the uh, classic Liberty Cruiser and that's uh, probably had the most fun designing this part so these are Deimos Hull A's three of them stacked together and at the very end is a Deimos braking engine I just I really like the way these flow together now I will say as an alternative um, that over here real quick. Uh, you could use a 3x1 hab instead. You could use the Deimos Engineering Bay A and the en en Deimos Engineering Bay B. Um, one of them's got a bunch of computers in it and the other one's got a bunch of pipes and machines and stuff. So uh, if you wanted extra space to walk around in your ship, these would be it. These would be for you. Uh, I've put these on these builds before when I built it in the past. Um, I tend to shy away from it these days because I don't really like the way the sides look. It's kind of makes the ship look a little blockier. Um, as I said before, I like the way these Deimos hull A's blend together and with the overall look of the ship. So we're going to use these for this, for this particular build. So there's the top prong and here's the bottom one. It looks a little silly, I know, uh, but 
let's start putting <laughs> these structural parts in. Um, so we've got right here a Noble Galactic weapon mount with two Helion beams on the side. And that's going to get mounted to this one by one companionway right there. Mounted on the underside of this hull A, we're going to have a Skeg B, Deimos Skeg B. And that fits real nicely between the two arms of that weapon mount. And it kind of closes in a little, little bit of that empty space. And then up front we've got the Skeg A, like that. On the bottom, we will have, let me grab this from out here, um, a front porthole is going to go there on that one by one, so you can look out inside of the um, firing chamber. We have a reverse Deimos Spine A. We have a Deimos Spine C with a third Helion beam attached to it. It's going to go right there and then a Deimos radiator. That's my compromise. We can't have the really cool rings around the front, so I'm just going to put a radiator there and call it a day. <laughs> I basically needed a way to make the inside of this firing area look technological and mechanical, much like the original Liberty Cruiser looked. So that completes the inside of the uh, firing area. So let's start putting all of these, um, well first of all, hold on, so let's take this. We've got a weapon mount right here. Sorry, an equipment plate that gets stuck on the middle there, and then uh, an auto neutron turret on the front. Okay, so it's coming together. So let's move on to this monstrosity over here. So everything over here will complete the look of this. As you can see, it's not super special, it's just basically a, a one half wide design. Uh, it was my goal to make it have that silhouette of the Liberty Cruiser. You know, it was looked a lot thicker in the middle and, and thinner on the back, and how do, I, how do I do all that? So this was kind of what I came up with. So we'll start by putting all these pieces on here. So this is a combination of cosmetic, structural pieces, fuel tanks, landing gear and, and weapons so we're just gonna go from um, aft to midship and then whatever's up front so on top of this um, Slayton engine we have this Deimos Spine E and then the shield generator uh, this is a special Vanguard one uh, and it's, as far as I know it's the best the best Class B shield that you can get, um, only purchasable after you join the United Colonies Vanguard. In front of that we have a Deimos Spine B, and on top of there, mounted to it, we have an Auto Neutron Turret. It's the same one as the one that we put up front, so two Auto Neutron Turrets. Next we have a uh, reversed Deimos Cowling, and that's it for the top on the aft section. So let's move down to this floor here. We've got a Tayo side cap. And another one. And that's it for that floor. Uh, down below on the all of one berth, we have one porthole. You can put a porthole there if you'd like, but that's for the, uh, the research module. So um, if you put a window there, it deletes. Let's turn the ship to the back before I forget about this. There's a rear porthole facing aft so you can look outside at your landing area. Okay, so let's move to the midship area. Uh, same thing, we'll start from the top and work our way forward and then just go down. So on the top floor we have this small Nova Cowling reversed behind the bridge. And up front we have a porthole on the top of that one by one. Down one floor we have this Nova Cowling, the uh, cylindrical one, and this is the aft variant. In front of that we have the M40 Ulysses fuel tank, one of my favorite ones ever. It looks so cool. This is the Deimos Wing E 
goes there. And then the Deimos wing E port aft. So I put these two wings there to kind of blend these two themes together. The Deimos hulls don't really mesh too well with the Nova Galactic hulls, so I kind of tried to have this divert your attention away from this clash right there. So hopefully it worked. All right, let's move one floor down. So right here we have this Titan 350 tank that's going to go here like that and a porthole right there so let's move down one level um, here we're gonna have a Nova Galactic aft landing gear that goes right underneath the uh, two drum fuel tank okay next we've got this guy here this is a uh, shielded cargo rack um, and to be clear, cargo was not a consideration when I built this ship. I didn't want to have to deal with the mass. These are only here for structural cosmetic reasons. So let's go to the bottom floor then. Um, underneath here, we've got this flipped and upside down Nova cowling that goes... You can see that that goes on the underside like that. Next we have the Deimos Wing C, it looks like a radiator, and that goes directly under the cargo rack. Next we have a Pinpoint 3G4 in mid landing gear and a Vanguard Auto Cannon. And they're both going to go right there. And again, this Auto Cannon is only available after you join the Vanguard. To be honest with you, we really don't need auto cannons on here. I just had them because there was extra power to play with, so I, I threw these on here because who doesn't want who doesn't want machine guns on their cool spaceship? So that's pretty much it. At this point, if you're building along with me, you could probably just control click all these and copy them and uh, move them to the other side. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and select all these and move them on over. And that's it. That's how I've built my um, my Liberty Cruiser in Starfield. As far as uh, paint and coloring goes, that's purely up to you. Um, something I might add, um, my paint scheme is actually copied off of the Razor Leaf. Um, this is the Razor Leaf. If you don't know what that is, I don't want to spoil anything for you, but I will tell you the Razor Leaf is a free ship that you can get. That's all I'll say. Um, but if you do know what the Razor Leaf is, and you do have one just sitting around, uh, I can't suggest enough to build this into the Razor Leaf, because you get some pretty cool uh, random encounters with the pirates, and uh, what better way to destroy pirates than with an experimental naval warship. <laughs> so uh, let's take her out of the builder and uh, take her into space and see how she flies. Hopefully I did okay. Uh, like I said, this is the first time I ever made a video like this, so let me know how I did. Um, I do have several other ships that I've made in Starfield that I'd like to um, show off and uh, show you how to build them if you're interested. Really, I just like nerding out about ship builds. It's one of my favorite aspects of Starfield, and it kind of is what keeps me playing the game, is just building ships. Um, I do actually have an extra large version of this Liberty Cruiser um, that I built into another Razor Leaf in another playthrough, so that I am more than happy to share also, um, but I have some other builds that I'd like to do first, so this will hopefully be one of several, if not many, of these types of videos, so let me know how I did, um, and uh, hopefully I can refine this process over time. But thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy it. Any questions, please ask.